welcome back to my channel with a very exciting video make sure you subscribe you like and share with others if you find it very if you find it very useful today we are going to talk about why people get married is it for fun is it peer pressure or is it because we are ready to get married I have been married for nine years and I'm going to share with you some of the things. You know, traditionally, there was never a pre and post counseling to couple before and after they get married. You got, you just go and get married and that's it. Not putting into consideration that marriage is a lifetime commitment. You should be sure that I'm ready to get married. Sometimes you fall for a person because they have a nice body, because it's beautiful, because of all the, these things, forgetting that you are going to live with a person inside, not the body on top that you see. Uh, bear with me. Uh, we are going to talk today. Sometimes we get married because some friends that we graduated together also got married. Sometimes we got married because our church mates, colleagues are also getting married. Sometimes we feel the pressure that all my age mates are married and they are happy and all these, let me also get married. And you know what? Some people think that marriage is an already made thing that you just come and sit in marriage and then you start enjoying happiness and these lovey-dovey things that you see in telenovela and all those sea world things marriage is real things it's not those people acting in those soapies that you watch marriage is real real things and you have to work for your marriage for it to work it's not a ready-made thing that you will find after you get married that's one thing that you should take home second thing marriage is like an empty box before you take out anything, you got to deposit something. It's like an ATM. Let me give you a practical example. It's like an ATM. Before you take it, before you take out money, you got to deposit money. You cannot just keep taking, 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 but nothing is bringing the money in your account. Marriage is like an empty box. Before you put, before you take anything out, you got to put in something. If you want love, put it in. You want trust, put it in. You got to put in. If you want attention, put it in. You got to put in before you take out. So, let me ask you this question. Why do we get married? There are partners who live their partner and children and go spend time with their friends neglecting your own partner neglecting your own children just so that you go and have fun with your friends why did you get married and before you get married there are a few things that you need to take into consideration because we are talking about a lifetime commitment so why did you marry if you still want to spend time with your friends why did you marry if you still want to have fun why do you want to get married if you still want to chill out with club? Your friends, the certain club that you have joined or those friends of yours that you can't do without. What was the pressure? If you don't have time, because marriage is not for kids. This is for mature people that have to take responsibility of their partners as well as their children. The moment you marry, the Bible say two should shall become one. And when two become one, you speak the same language, you give attention to, 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 to your partner, and that is the whole problem that we, we... I've been speaking to a lot of couple, and the whole problem comes in when one partner or one side is no more bringing their attention on, on, on board 
when you get married, your partner became your best friend. Why do you go and still need time with your friends if you have a lifetime partner that you have chosen? Getting married is not a joke. And the moment you decide to get married, you have to step up your game. You have to become mature. You have to become more responsible. Marriage is about raising children. And this is not a game for kids. It requires a lot. It requires your energy. It requires your time. It requires a lot from you. Your wife and children, your husband and children, they need your time. If you are not ready to sacrifice your time, if you are not ready to sacrifice your energy for the sake of the family, then you don't need a wife, you don't need a man, you don't need children. You are still a boy, you are still a girl, you don't need to engage in adulthood activities, which is marriage. There is so lot of things, misconceptions about marriage, thinking that once you get married, you, 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 you will be in heaven. One thing that you should take into consideration is that when you get married, the green is always, the grass is always greener where it's being watered. You need to water the grass for it to be green. If you invest your energy and time watering other grass, how do you expect your own grass to be green? You got to work for your marriage. Some of us are busy raising up broken children because of the relationship dynamics that we are creating in our marriage because we still want to have fun. And the way you raise your children, you remember you are raising someone else's husband, you are raising someone else's wife. So in your attitude, influence how they are going to behave as they become adults. Children are growing up feeling neglected, end up having attachment issues because of your immaturity and irresponsibility. And now they grow up looking for love and attention and validation from all wrong places. And we have been wondering why and that and all that. Because daddy and mommy have been having issues and they have never been loved. You never show them love they don't know what is love they don't know the quality of their of themselves and when they don't know all these things when you don't invest these things if you don't spend time with them if you are not taking your own daughter to dinner then she will know how to be treated any person can come and miss treat her the way she's he's feeling like and she will not know whether this is how a man should treat a woman or not. The way you are treating your wife is the way your children will either treat their wife <clears throat> or they expect to be treated by their husbands. If you are beating your wife and your child is being beaten when he grow up, he will think it's normal because that's what you have shown them. If you don't know that your children will recreate um, the relationship dynamics that are seen now between you and your wife in your relationship when they grow up. Let me tell you one thing, that is the only thing that they will look at. That's the only thing that they will... It's the only thing that will be in their head, let me put it that way. Because that's the only thing that they have been seeing. Same applies to when you don't visit your parents, when you don't visit your parents with them, those kids will also neglect you because they have seen how you have neglected your own parents. So how you raise your kids is how they're going to treat you. If you don't take your kids to orphanage home to see how people are suffering, they will not appreciate what you do for them. So what I'm trying to say is your children is a version of how you have been treating them. Sometimes we say, no, it's not our fault, we were also raised like that, and A, B, C, D, and all this, not remembering that it's time for you to end that part, and if you were raised that way, what difference are you willing to do? 
What is it that you are going to do? You know yourself better. So why do you want this damage and hate to continue for generation and generation and the next generation? Come on, cut it out for the sake of your family. Be a man of change. Let me get back. Why do we get married? Do we get married for fun? Not knowing the responsibility that we are getting ourselves into? Are we marrying because of peer pressure? Do we know what we are getting ourselves into? Do we ask sufficient questions to our partners before we get married? And if you are a woman, someone wants to marry you, ask him one question. Where, where, where do you want to take me? Even if he wants you. That's one of the questions men fail to answer. Where do you want to take me? And I'm telling you, as men, we are doing a very big mistake when we marry people but we don't have a vision. Because it's very, very difficult to follow someone who is not going anywhere. And when women are working hard, we feel so much that Ubango Kunji Kavira, she wants to be on top of the game, she wants to be on the driving seat while she should be this side and all this. Because when women sees that a man doesn't have a vision, you know, when God created man, first he didn't give him a woman, he gave him work. He tell him, this is the garden, this is what you need to do, A, B, C, D. So a man should work first, and then later you get a woman, and then you put a vision. Now the whole thing messed up when we don't have a vision, <clears throat> that women became frustrated, and now when they do things, when a woman start buying cattle, your wife start buying goats and all those things, there will be competition between you and your wife because you don't have a vision. But when you have a vision, you say, no, we want to buy three cattle this year, and then your wife contribute towards your vision. And I've seen broken families because all these things are not clear. When we are about to get married, there is a lot of things that we need to put into concentration. Because love don't last. And being married does not guarantee that you're not going to fall for someone else. It requires discipline. And that package is something that you build yourself. Because when you are in love, when you are married, it, it, marriage is not a guarantee that you will not fall for someone else. So there are certain things that we need to build together. That's why you should not rush into marriage. Be sure what you are getting yourself into. I remember when I got married, I'll be very honest with you, nine years ago, maybe 27, somewhere there, when I was 27, but I didn't know what marriage is. I just got into it, I've learned what it is, and then I cope with it. That should not happen to you. My wife was around 23. Today I, we sit and ask, why did you get married to me? What was in your head? Nothing. Just got married for the sake of getting married. We, we knew that we belonged together. We knew that we have the same interests. <clears throat> she believed in my future. She believed, she didn't look at me at present. She was looking of what I'm capable of. That's our love story. I had qualities that I was looking at into a woman. I had five of them. And then she had four. And then I said, okay, the, the, the other one I will accommodate. So, I'm a living testimony. When I got married, I didn't know. There are people that got married and they knew what marriage is. There are people like me that get married but they didn't know what marriage is. Just get married. I needed a wife. She needed a husband. We got married. But what are we getting ourselves into? And no one told us what marriage is. Nor did my parents told me, nor did her parents told her, what are we getting ourselves into? So as parents, it's our responsibility to train our children so that they know what marriage is. The main problem comes in when we, as parents, 
we mistreat our partners and the children are checking and remember when kids are not talking they learn more by seeing and by hearing when they are still not talking they learn more by seeing so they watch how you are treating your seeing how you do this and all this and when they grow up they install that application in their brain and it's very difficult to unlearn that and start relearning new things so how you treat your partner is how your children will treat their partner bear in mind that you are raising someone's husband and you are raising someone's wife let me end here today still have a lot of things to talk about till next week thank you